I've watched Lady Ballers. <laughs> While I do think it's not the best movie of all time, it's not the best comedy you're ever gonna see. Why don't you just say that you're on the left? Uh, Is this so hard for you? Why can't you just be honest? <laughs> it's not bad. The thing I would criticize I would say most, it's the acting. It's not extremely believable. <sighs> I don't know, it's, it really does resemble some of those comedies of the 2000s, of the 90s, some of those crazy comedies like American Pie, where you get a bunch of nobodies that want to give it their best shot at Hollywood. If somebody were to come to me and say, what do you, what's the greatest thing about being you, Matt? What do you love the most? But the acting, it's not the best in a movie. It's not gonna win any Oscars, that's for sure. But it's not a bad movie, like, I really enjoyed it. For the first time there was a few laughs, it got a few laughs out of me. I, would, I, I, was, I was thinking, did it push a message? I mean, definitely it's trying to push a little bit of the conservative message, but it's not a bad movie, it's fun, it's enjoyable. At least it's taken on itself to pun or to fight whatever the current narrative is, the crazy current narrative that men are competing in women's sports, the craziness of all of that. I think it tackles it fairly well. Some plots in the movie are eh, kind of weak at best, to not even say bad. I don't, I don't frankly give a damn what you you're, think of me since I've new... never heard of you. But what I think it's really telling is, look at, this is, this is Rotten Tomatoes, all right? So no reviews from the critics. So no reviews from critics and 94%, so 9.4, the people, has already got 5,000 ratings from viewers, from the audience, but no critics are willing to do a critic on the movie. And I think that's really, really telling. I think those 5,000 people that did review it have given it a 9.4 score out of 10. They're kind of, in the same boat as me. It's crazy, it's irreverent. Um, it's got all the good points of a good comedy, maybe some bad ones, but overall, I won't maybe give it a 9.4, that's going a bit too far. But I would give it a seven, seven and a half, an eight. It, it's not a movie that I would pay 30, 40 pounds to go and watch it on the cinema. It's at least a funny movie that is not trying to push down your throat the current agenda that's been pushed in every Hollywood movie, in every Hollywood TV series. Well, at least it's not that. And I think that's one of the reasons why 94% of people rated it very positively. So why, why it's got a 9.4 rating? Because people are tired of the Hollywood movies, the, the Hollywood TV series, pushing down an agenda on them. Now, look at, it's got four reviews from critics. Now, I think this one, it's completely hilarious. It says, it's racist, sexist, transphobic, transphobic and anti-Semitic. And there's really no debate in that. Anyone looking for a coherent and logical conservative point of view on transgender issues won't find it here. Now, I'm not kidding. That is an actual review from a critic. And I just, like, did anyone tell this critic that Ben Shapiro is Jew? Right, I mean, see this? This is the yarmulke, okay? I'm a religious person. I mean, I don't think Ben Shapiro would want to appear he is actually in the movie. I don't think that Ben Shapiro would want to be in a movie that's anti-Semitic. I think that just, that comment is absolutely crazy to me. That comment from that critic just blows my mind, like, of course he hasn't watched it, like for sure he hasn't watched the movie because he wouldn't have said that otherwise. There's nowhere, anywhere in the movie, anything resembling anti-Semitic comments or agenda. There's nowhere, anywhere in the movie, nothing that's anti-Semitic, anything, anything whatsoever. Now, what I think it's really like kind of fun, what I really enjoyed about the movie was Matt Walsh as the kind of allied husband Look at us, one big unconventional family. Lover, I think your transition into divorce will be smoother if Coach moved in with us. Progressive, but I think that was kind of funny, especially with how he is in real life. 
that that was kind of fun to see Matt Walsh as an ally to the feminist movement, the transgender movement. I think that was pretty funny. And it did get a few jokes out of me. Now, if you see, look, if you go on Google and you just type Lady Ballers, it gives it a 4.4 out of five. That is crazy. I mean, people are enjoying this movie. It's clear that people are enjoying this movie. People like the movie. If you read the pieces that have been written about the movie, Lady Ballers Rotten Tomatoes page flooded with five star reviews amid backlash from LGBTQ plus community. A controversial film from creative media site The Daily Wire reached 90% score on Rotten Tomatoes after viewers flooded its reviews with a five-star rating before the movie was even released, which that's not true. They actually, they were, it was bombed with um, bad reviews before the movie was released, but whatever, let's just carry on. Some reviewers on Rotten Tomatoes praised the movie's comedy and likened it to Dodgeball and Billy Madison, while others wrote that it was pathetic. The site's own John Serber slammed the movies in his review of the film, writing, anyone looking for a coherent and logical conservative point of view on transgender issues won't find her here. The movie is an enraged, disdainful, and mean-spirited free-for-all that flips all the same old, worn-out lip triggers in an attempt to put progressives in a foamy rage. I don't agree with that. It is showing the craziness of the trans ideology. They maybe did it in an extreme way but that's what that's literally what comedy movies are they take an idea that it's maybe mundane or very usual and they put it in an extreme to make it funny and that is definitely lady ballers but that's i think a given for any comedy that's bound to be funny not the comedies of today which are anything but funny right wing trolls spam anti-trans comedy lady ballers with five star reviews this is another one how can 5,000 right-wing trolls really went to review the movie on Rotten Tomatoes? Look, if we're gonna, let's go that route, okay? Let's say that some right-wing trolls did review bomb the movie. If you're, you know, a right-wing extremist, you can't even tie your own shoes. Oh, shit. Uh, I just made it worse. Who made this goddamn shit? Well, there's wife. You make your own goddamn mad. Not too good. I mean, if I don't move my head, I can see you pretty good, more or less. But when I start riding, the bag's moving all over, and I, I'm riding blind. Yeah. I just made mine worse. Anybody bring any extra bags? No, nobody brought an extra bag. I'm just asking. I mean, do you think they've got the time to go on Rotten Tomatoes, write a review, make... I don't even have an account on Rotten Tomatoes. While I do check sometimes the reviews of Rotten Tomatoes to see if I'm gonna watch a movie or not. If I'm gonna, if I want to watch a movie and I check on Rotten Tomatoes and I see that it's badly reviewed both alike by critics and the audience, sometimes I don't even bother to watch it. And I've never reviewed a movie in Rotten Tomatoes. I really doubt all of those people that have reviewed the movie are right-wing trolls just trying to review bomb the movie it's just ah, this left-wing agenda of everything that they make, it's perfect, it's the holy grail, and everything that goes against what they're doing, it's right-wing trolls. It seems like in today's society, everything is far left. So the narrative is far left, the media is far left, Hollywood is far left, the universities, everything is far left. And anything that deviates whatsoever from their far left, it's deemed right-wing extremism. And I truly believe that most of the people who watched the movie, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not subscribed to The Daily Wire Plus. I watched it, let's say, in less than legal ways of watching the movie. I'm not even subscribed to Daily Wire Plus. I'm not a right-wing troll. I'm not an extreme right, crazy, whatever, you know. And I enjoyed the movie. And I think a lot of moderate people will enjoy this movie. That is the reason why it has so many good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, the critics, they're not even touching it with a 10-foot pole. They don't want to review this movie because I think that 
a lot of critics who watched the movie did enjoy the movie, but they're prohibited to say that they enjoyed the movie because everywhere now there's an extreme left ideology. And if you deviate what, a millimeter from that extreme left ideology, you're deemed a right-wing fascist, I don't know, Nazi, you're the descendant of Hitler. If you deviate whatsoever from their point of view, this is a decent movie. It's not the best comedy you'll ever see. It's not the best movie ever made. Why don't you just say that you're on the left? Uh, is this so hard for you? Why can't you just be honest? <laughs> Nobody's gonna win an Oscar for it, but it's a good, decent movie that gets a few laughs out of you that you will definitely enjoy a Sunday evening when it's raining outside, you don't have nothing to do, and you watch this movie, you will definitely enjoy it. Well, would I pay? 30 pounds to go and watch it in the cinema? No, I wouldn't pay 30 pounds to go and watch it in the cinema. The I, don't, I don't frankly give a damn what you think of me since I've new... never heard of you. But I have never gone to the cinema to watch comedy, to be honest. I go to the cinema to watch really like, out, not outrageous, but like big production movies that I think they're gonna surprise me. I don't go to the movies to watch comedies, so do I think it's a good movie? Yes, I think it's a decent movie. Would I recommend it? Yes, 100% I would recommend it. Especially, why would I recommend it? Because of how things are right now with the trans movement. Because of how things are right now with this extreme left ideology that's taking over and possessing everything and everyone around us. So we're going on this journey. Boys can be girls, girls can be boys. Men can be women, women can be men. It makes me wonder, what, what is a woman? What is a woman? A woman is someone who claims that as their identity. It could be many things to many people. Just for that reason alone, and just because this movie goes against that, which I think it's what people want, for that reason alone, I would 100% recommend the movie. We all know how this movie Boom. is gonna be painted by the legacy media, but a lot of internet outlets, news outlets, we all know how they're gonna paint this movie as a right-wing extremist, transphobe movie that wants to take away trans rights and this and that. No, it's not that at all. It's a light-hearted movie trying to show the craziness of everything that's happening right now. We all know that Rotten Tomato critics Official critics are not going to review this movie anytime soon. We all know that every media and news outlet is going to attack it. And I think that's the reason why you should watch it and you should make up your mind if you like it or not. The acting is not the best, the jokes are not the best, but it's a decent movie that at least gets some laughs out of you, which is something very lacking in the movies of today. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and like always, see you in the next one.